Hello, Dr. J here, and we're going to do a continuous time Fourier transform for an exponential signal. Before we go into the actual mechanics in doing the Fourier transform of an exponential, let's review the definition of the Fourier transform. For a continuous time Fourier transform, we have the following mathematical relationship in which we take a signal or function in time and we multiply it by a complex exponential summing or doing an integral from minus infinity to infinity integrating with respect to time to give us signal description in the frequency domain the inverse continuous time Fourier transform takes a signal that's represented in the frequency domain and describes it in the time domain so we're going the other way so this is the definition where we take that frequency description multiplied by this complex exponential e to the plus j omega t d omega integrated from minus infinity to infinity and normalizing it with respect to 2 pi this continuous time Fourier transform is what we call also the analysis equation which extracts frequency information and we note that this signal is describing it in the frequency domain by the Fourier transform and for the inverse Fourier transform, it's also called the synthesis equation because it builds signals based on the frequency information. So real quick, the time domain description of xt is transformed into the frequency domain by the Fourier transform, and we denote it as a cap x, and it's a function of omega. Now we're going to perform the Fourier transform of an exponential by applying its definition. We're going to take this example here where x of t is equal to e to the minus 7t multiplied by this step function starting at t equals 0. The purpose of the step function is to change the integration limits of the Fourier transform definition because the definition of the Fourier transform starts from minus infinity to infinity. But with the step function, we can now integrate it from 0 to infinity. So we simply substitute x of t into our Fourier transform definition. So it's shown here, and we're integrating from minus infinity to infinity. With this step function then, we can change the integration limits, remove the step function from the integral, and now we're integrating from 0 to infinity. Now we have two exponentials. One is a real, and the other is a complex exponential. Since they have a common base, we can add them, as shown here. And when we integrate this exponential, you know that integrating an exponential, you get the same exponential scaled by whatever the constant is in front of t. So what we have is exponential scaled by this constant, negative 1 over 7 plus j omega. We're going to integrate it from 0 to infinity. The upper limit is simply 0 because e to the minus infinity makes this 0. And then we have e to the 0, which makes this 1. And what we're left with is negative 1 over 7 plus j omega for the lower limit. Well, now we have minus and minus. That gives us a plus 1 over 7 plus j omega. So what we have in the time domain is an exponential e to the minus 7t u of t and its corresponding frequency domain description by performing the definition and applying the definition of the Fourier transform is 1 over 7 plus j omega. And that's it in how we get the Fourier transform of an exponential. Signing off is Dr. J.